so how do we initialize map so in map let me tell you one thing you have to define the data type of the key as well as the value so there are two data types so this is how you initialize a map map then inside the angular bracket data data type of key then comma data type of value and then the variable which will refer this particular map and then new map then uh, data type underscore key and comma data type underscore one that's how you go with this okay then comes data type key can only be primitive so the data type for the key can only be primitive it cannot be any s object it cannot be any class object or anything but a data type value can be primitive s objects apex objects or other collection so that means can we store a list inside a map where we can have the list in and the value right uh, so we can do that easily there is no problem with it is it clear okay then comes creating and initializing a map right so this is how you create a map where integer is basically the yeah key and string is the data data type of the key is string and data type of the value is uh data type of the key is integer and data type of the value is string right and then you declare a map new map integer comma string and after declaration how you going to add with put 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 method right not add method there is no add method in here there is put method where you uh, write down the key in the first parameter pass the key in the first parameter and pass the value in the second parameter that's what it is clear okay and similarly on 11 key there is jack on 21 key there is john on 33 key there is ron that's how it goes okay and when you will try to debug this it will show the result like this at 11 we've got jack at 21 we've got john and 33 we've got ron i guess can we store uh, james at 11 why exactly so there the, like the key is already so what do you think it's going to uh, look like like i mean is it going to replace jack Sure. It will replace the value stored over there. Execute. So thirty-three, eleven uh, should be Jack, right? But I'm telling you, it will be James. So it will override or replace. Override, not replace. It will override the value which is stored onto that particular key. That's what it is. it's it's like map says that you can store any one value with this particular key it does not say that i'll not store another value it will try to store it in that key which is already in existence right so it will override the current value which is over there and this is the same thing that i have written down over here as well see this is not debug m map 11 uh, jack 21 john 33 john and then if i'm going to uh, put down 11 joy will override the value on key yeah okay let's talk about how can we initialize and assign the values together can you tell me how we can do that can you tell me how we can initialize the values as well as declare the map at, at the same moment like how you you're going to define that which values is, is associated with which key Let me show you how you're gonna write it down, the value. On key one, the value is this. So equals to and then arrow. Equals to and then arrow. Equals to and then arrow. Right? It's not a, a slash. I mean hyphen. It's equals to. So yeah, this is how we'll assign the value, initialize the map, and assign the values at the same. So now I'm creating an integer. Uh, I mean yeah, a map. With integer and this, so that's another map. Over here, I've created m map. Over here, I'm creating m m m one. So, in this map, first I initialize the map, and then to add a value, I use the put method, right? But if you want to do uh, both of these things together at once, you can do it in this format: map integer comma string, 
m1 new map integer comma string and then curly braces and then you'll have to write down one equals to arrow and then the value so this is the key and this is the value this is how you'll have to write it down i think we discussed this as well yes next methods of map let's talk about different methods that you've got with maps right so number one put all so put all method basically uh, put all the key value pairs uh, which are there in another map into uh, into the into the, into the map right so m map has already got jack john and ron and when i'm going to add uh, m map dot put all m1 so whatever key value pairs are there in this map uh, are going to be added as well so the total uh, i mean yeah so the, so the total key value pairs that are going to be there in this m map will be six three uh, like uh, three which which we added earlier and three from this m1 map they'll automatically get added right okay so that's uh, one method second method is get so get method uh, is basically used to get the value at that particular key so inside get you just pass the key and you'll get that particular value so in one there is dustin if i would have uh, written down 33 then ron right that's what it is and then comes list string l new list string is empty method is basically used to uh, check whether the map is empty or not if it is empty then it will return a true value and if it is not empty then false that's it then comes uh, m map dot size right m map dot size uh, basically returns you the number of key value pairs that are there in that particular map so in this uh, map we've got how many six key value pairs then comes remove two so in uh, like this two is basically the key so whatever value was there at uh, key two will uh, and uh, this key as well will uh, both get removed and now if we'll try to uh, i mean yeah, execute this m map dot size it will get a return 5 instead of 6 then comes m map dot clear uh, it clears the map it clear, uh, removes all the key value pairs inside the map 